So what was what was that whole experience like? <laughs> ah, well, I I uh, came off the bench and I seen a chance to make a hit and. I caught the guy pretty good, and uh, I, I think he, Sharon Govich came over and kind of wrapped his heads around my or his hands around my head, and I kind of just seen black, and I was like, kind of went fight or flight mode, and <laughs> yeah, I just started throwing. So yeah, it was a wild experience. I don't remember much of it, but looking back on it, it was uh, yeah. <laughs> hit, we, we've talked about hit before. We know you like take pride yeah. in hitting. I mean, that was like pretty much as textbook as it can get, right? Like, yeah lined them up, perfect opportunity you saw there? Yeah, I seen a perfect opportunity and I just tried to make sure I kept my hands and my shoulders down because I knew it wasn't a guy who was the biggest guy, but yeah, I just tried to go through him and keep it keep it clean as possible. Some are referring you to as baby. <laughs> What's your reaction to that? Uh, I, well, like, I think Chris told you guys, I, around the room I think my nickname was uh, JT or TJ <laughs> Troops Jr. <laughs> so uh, yeah, they, they, they refer to that a little bit and I think I, I, I try to model my game a lot after him. He plays the game hard, and and I think we have similar styles. So I, I think uh, it's a, it's a compliment in every way. Do you do, do you, did you do that before you were a teammate, or is that just since you've been here that you, you feel like you model your game after? I I think even before. I I remember watching him in Winnipeg when I was in Brandon, and he was always a guy that was uh, played the game hard, played all areas of the game really well. So I think yeah, I I, I watched him a lot and. Yeah, to come here and to learn from him firsthand has been awesome. Truba said that he had heard that you had that kind of fight in you. Was that a part of your game earlier in your career? Or? Uh, I, I've only fought once before, but uh, I, I, I've always liked to take the body and to play hard, and I haven't really had a, a, an opportunity to jump up and hit someone like I did last game, so it, it felt good to, to get it out of the way, and yeah, I, I like to play the game hard, and yeah, it's, it's just the way I enjoy what play. What stage of your career was the fight in? Uh, I was in junior. I, you, you, yeah. You've only fought once before. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so people were saying that you, you, your confidence is growing because you're walking around now with your shirt off. I'm a heavy sweater, so I don't, I don't <laughs> walk around with a no, no shirt on to show off. I, I, I just sweat a lot and I don't like, it feels nice to get the air, get air on the skin. <laughs> No, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> when you hear a bunch of your teammates talk about just how they felt like the game, the momentum shifted after that whole sequence, the hit and the fight, just to know that you can make that kind of impact, how does that make you feel? Yeah, it's it's good. I, I, it's awesome. I, I, I like to try to to impact the game in any way that I can, and if, if I can get the boys' energy on the bench and get everyone going, I, I think that that's huge, and it's a, it's a huge compliment to to hear, and it's a it's a great feeling to get that momentum going for us. You you have it seems like well you played last night with with Braun right, so you have two righties, and, and I guess he was on the left and you were on the right. Yeah. Um, do you sense that there's sort of these last X number of games are going to be some sort of a I don't want to say tryout, but some sort of a, a, a an opportunity to kind of figure out which two of you him and Nemo are going to be in the lineup? Uh, I, I think, yeah, it's going to be a, a lot of trial and error, I'm sure. And I think uh, it, it's uh, where everyone here has been such awesome teammates. And I think uh, it, it's going to be uh, whatever happens, happens. And I think everyone's a, a great guy at handling it so professionally. So I think it, it adds that extra competitiveness. And you want to be ready to go every night, for sure. But there, there's no hard feelings. If Braun or if Nemo play over me, I'm not, I'm not mad at them by any means. And I've uh, yeah, I, I think uh, it's it's always good to have that competitiveness, and it's uh, it's been a lot of fun to, to learn and play with them. You sat out two games since since Bronner got here, right? Yeah. Um, and you know we know trial and error, as you say. But how did how did you feel like you know when you got the word that okay you're out tonight? Like, well, how did you feel about that? Uh, I I I didn't feel feel much. I, I think uh, my my game before wasn't my best game, and I think. Yeah, if you're if you're not ready to go the night before, or if you're not at your best, it, it's it's not a bad thing to, to have a rest or a game off to, to reset and to refocus. And uh, yeah, it's it's gonna happen, and that's okay. And I just got to make sure I'm ready for my opportunity when it comes again. And then when you when you get back in last night, where you obviously were ready. Yeah. <laughs> were, you, were you looking to, you know, make one 
hit that or one play that would stand out so that you know catch the coach's attention? Or I, I think the the main thing I was looking for because the the game prior I I didn't play a, a very aggressive. I wasn't happy. I kind of was on my heels a little bit more. So I, the main thing I kept telling myself is to make sure you're on your toes and and like do something and whether that was just making good breakout passes being hard on guys in the corners yeah I, I wasn't looking for a a big hit like that but obviously that that also helps going forward and and giving the team energy and, and giving me some confidence to, to keep playing playing my game so in a big game tomorrow how valuable is it for you to experience this for the players it could be your team you play the players but how valuable are these games down the stretch for you as you get ready to yeah, definitely. And every single game that we've played against, well, any team, it's been a, a playoff feel. And to, to get that experience and to, to feel that speed of the game and the emotion in the game, it, it's, it's helped a lot to, to feel that before the postseason comes. And uh, it's, a, it's a learning process every day, but uh, I, I think uh, just got to keep moving and keep learning and, and keep trying to, to play my game.